Jesus name of his God. If I could not touch just a part of his clothes, I know I'll be here and my sins are forgiven. If I could not touch him, and straight heaven road. Church, if I just touch <laughs> just a him of his car, if I could but touch one part of his clothes, one part of his clothes, I know I'll be here and my sin Forgive him. If I could but touch him, I'll know. Seven Falling in love with Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I ever, ever done. In His arms, I feel protected. In His arms, never did. It is all I feel yeah. protected. It's the no best place I'd rather, rather be. It is all I feel oh, protected. It is all. Connected in his arms, I feel oh. protected. There's no place I'd rather, rather be. Spirit of the
Somebody say mail to me. Mold me. I say feel me.
when there is trouble. from Malachi chapter 3, reading from verse 8 through to verse 12. And it reads, Will a man rob God? Yet he have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offering. He are cursed with a curse, for he have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith, Say the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, 
and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, saith the Lord of hosts. 12 and last. And all nations shall call you blessed, for he shall be a delightsome land, saith the Lord of hosts. Praise God. I'm going to ask Evangelist Barrett, praise God, to bless the night's tide and offering. Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to ask Sister Cunningham to repeat the offering statement of faith. Hallelujah. Could you raise your tithes and offering in your right hand and repeat after me? As we give our offerings tonight, we are believing God for job or better jobs, raises and bonuses, promotions and benefits. Deals and better deals, houses and lands, cars and limousines, checks in the mail, debts demolished, bills paid off, sicknesses to miraculously disappear, and the return of everything that the devil has taken from us. you believe that seal it with a hallelujah. hallelujah the king jesus pentecostal choir will now minister for the lifting of the offering Come on, somebody praise him. Hallelujah. Come on, and worship the awesome God tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, worship the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like a ship tossed in and drifting, like a sail is on the way. When the storm of life for raging, it refuse to hold in me. I wonder am I ever done? Make this race so hard to run But I say to my soul Soul, don't you worry The Lord will make a way somehow Oh, the Lord will make a way somehow Oh, when you need the cross He will take away
tonight as our source as if of our existence praise God we greet the holy angels that is in and around this place ready to do what the Lord have commanded them to do we greet our general overseer in no other person than Bishop Winston Royal Baker come on just give the Lord a praise for what God is using him to do in the lives of his people wonderful choirsters I greet the ministers in your respective offices. I greet your saints of the Most High God and those who are visiting from near and far. I bring holy greetings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Praise God. We have just sung a song and the song says, it's a long, 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 long way to go. Praise God. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Praise God, praise God, praise God. But I just want to remind you that we still have the truck on our agenda. But we have a short, 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 short way to go. Praise God. Come on, I don't hear you rejoicing in this house. Praise God, praise God, praise God. From the other day, we realized our bishop will preach in from Genesis 26. And I was wondering why God always, most of the time, God used him to preach Genesis 26. But now I know. Genesis 26 and verse 18, it says, And Isaac dig again. Praise God. It's not easy to dig a well. You know that? Amen? To get a truck like that, it's not easy. That's a deep and difficult well. It seems impossible. But all things are possible with God if you only praise God. So tonight, some of us, we have dig already and we don't see the truck yet. That means we're going to dig again. You're going to dig in your pocket, book your purse, your wallet. And we're gonna nine stop digging until we see that truck. Come on, stand on your feet everywhere. Stand on your feet everywhere while the bishop is bringing forth the word. And you're going because God says, Go and preach the gospel of the kingdom. Put your hands together as we receive the word in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody keep those hands clapping. 
Open your mouth and magnify. Come on, lift Jesus higher tonight. Somebody shall back the king tonight. Come on, you can do better than that. Show your head back and give God a better praise. He deserves all. Come on, somebody. He deserves all of our praise. Somebody, show your head back and lift Jesus higher. He's worthy to be praised. Come on, warriors. Jesus is worthy to be praised. Reach your neighbor and say, neighbor, my good neighbor, glad to see you tonight. You are at the right place, at the right time for your miracle. Come on and smile and say, hello, neighbor, my good neighbor. I know you're under attack, but don't lay down and play dead. God said to tell you, it's time to fight back. Get up and resist the devil. And if you resist the devil, he shall flee. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh unto thee. Somebody clap your hands and praise God and declare war. Somebody give a war cry in here. Somebody give the Lord Jesus a war cry in here. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same our lord and savior jesus christ he hold my keys come on somebody reach your neighbor and say neighbor i know who hold your keys jesus christ hold mine and he hold yours too clap your hands and praise him tonight shia clap your hands and lift him up tonight Clap your hands and magnify him tonight. He's Lord. He's God. He's Master. He runs things. He is the only Savior. The Redeemer. He's our strong tower. Hallelujah. We worship and praise him. Because he deserves all our praise. While you remain standing, please turn your Bibles with me to Genesis 26. Genesis chapter 26. And let's take verse 12 again. God is a good God. God knows how to just bless whom he choose. He just lift up whom he choose. Turn around whom he choose. And nobody can do nothing about it. He's God all by himself when you're there just shout word then isaac sowed in that land and receive in the same year an hundredfold and the lord blessed him the lord blessed him and the man waxed great and went forward and grew until he became very great my god for he had possession of flocks and possession of herds and great store of servants and the philistines envied him for the lord for all the wells which his father's servants dig in the days of abraham his father the Philistine had stopped them and filled them with dirt, earth. And Abimelech said unto Isaac, Go from us, for thou art much greater than we. And Isaac departed thence and pitched his tent in the valley of Gehor and dwelt there. And Isaac dig again the wells of water which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistine had stopped them after the death of Abraham. And he called their names after the names by which his father had called them. And Isaac's servant dig in the valley and found there a well of springing water. And the herdman of Gehor did strive with Isaac, 
rocks were hard men. Saying, the water are ours. And he called the name of the well Esek, because they strove with him. And they dig another well. And they strove for that also. And he called the name of it Sitna. And he removed from thence and dig another well. And for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, for now the Lord had made room for us. And we shall be fruitful in the land. Somebody say, I shall be fruitful in this land. And he went from thence to Beersheba. Let us talk to our daddy. Hands high in the air. Let us pray to our father. Eternal God and our savior, master and redeemer. God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Jacob, here we are in your house tonight. We are here because we need a word from you. If you don't speak, Holy Spirit, what shall we do? Speak to us, please. Take this lump of flesh and use it for your honor and your glory. Let my tongue be the pen of a ready writer. Let your glory saturate this building. Let your holy angels have free course in this house. Please let your name be glorified among us. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Give victory to your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth, and declare a hundredfold is mine. Come on, open your mouth and tell somebody a hundredfold is mine a prophet's reward is mine somebody open your mouth if i'm talking to you as i reach your neighbor say neighbor i have to get the prophet's reward i need a prophet's reward i need my prophet's reward clap your hands open your mouth and shabbat back the king He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. You may be seated and declare our prophet's reward. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. I preach it many times how God manifests in tree. Yes, we believe in one God. He manifests more than three, but in three, the Bible said there are three that be a record in heaven. And that's the word. Somebody said the word. Hallelujah. He, that's God's spoken word that becomes the logos. Hallelujah. And so God speak it, but when the fullness of time was come, the word becomes flesh and dwell among us and we behold his glory as of the only begotten of the Father. So it is God who declare it from the beginning and it manifest in the fullness of time. Hallelujah. The, the Holy Spirit God is a spirit and he's holy. Hallelujah to God. And uh, because he's a spirit and he's holy, we call him the Holy Spirit. He's the only spirit that is holy by himself. Holiness is him. He is whole. And there is no searching of understanding with him. He's omnipotent. He's omnipresent. And he's omniscient. He's whole. Yes, he's everywhere. He knows everything. And he can do everything. He's holy. Shyan, he's a spirit. 
He is the father because he is the one who starts everything. He's the father because he's our constonian. He's the father because he's our creator. He's the father because he's the one that declared, let there be light and there was light. That's why we call him the father. He's responsible. He is the one that gives us the house. Oh, Shia. Yes, he's the one that provides. Yes, sir. He's the one that gives us where to live. And he's the one that declares our location. And he's the one that determines who your father, your mother will, will, is and where you will be. You have no power over that. You can choose where to be born. Uh-uh. He's the one that chooses your race. Glory to God. He's in control because he is the father. Touch somebody. Tell them he is the father. And so we see that he, 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 you have the, 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 the physical, the flesh. Somebody said the flesh, the physical. Then you have the emotional, the social, the, the mind aspect. That, so you have the physical, then you have that social, that mind, will, feelings. That's in the second dimension. But then you have the spirit. So you have the physical, the social, and then you have the spiritual. My God, when he appears to men, he told Moses to build me a tabernacle, Mishkan, a house, a place, a dwelling place, somewhere that we can meet, a meeting place. I want to tabernacle with you. The tabernacle is separated in three parts. You have the outer court, the inner court and the holy of holiest man was made in his image man carry one personality one will one mind but man is made in three parts the flesh body the soul and the spirit oh shia Yes, so you have the you have the outer court, you have the inner court, and you have the holy of holiest. Where is the worshippers? Uh, yes, can I go in a little bit, please? Uh, and so, even inside of the Mishkan, the tabernacle, you have a uh, seven piece of furniture. And the seven pieces of furniture are separated in these three compartments. Mm -hmm. In the outer court, you have what is called, hallelujah, the, the, the brazen altar. That outside, somebody say outside, that's outside. Mm -hmm. Shia. And uh, you see that brazen altar it signifies the flesh watch how God works it signifies the flesh uh -huh. anytime anybody's going to serve God you got to give him the flesh first Right, the flesh. Somebody say he deal with the flesh, the altar. Yes, because the brazen altar. Somebody say brazen. It's another word for branch, and branch signifies flesh. Mm -mm. You see, silver signifies the mind, the will, and gold signifies the. The spirit, come on, the man. The man. All right, all right, let's take our time, let's move on. And so, when we talk about God, if anybody's gonna serve God, you got to go to the brazen, the brazen altar. Yes, in the Old Testament, if you're gonna serve God, you gotta get you a sacrifice. You got to get a lamb, you got to get uh, Holy Spirit, a he goat, and you got to put it uh, at the 
praise and altar and that's on the outside and that's now is a shadow of things to come that's why when Jesus was crucified watch this he was not crucified inside Jerusalem because he is the Lamb of God who was to be burnt, roast, who was to be crucified, who is supposed to go on the brazen altar. It was, it took place at what we call uh, get, not get enemy, uh, God got her. Golgotha. Someone say Golgotha, no man. Golgotha. Can I talk about Golgotha for five minutes? Golgotha. What's the meaning of that? We call it Calvary, but they call it Golgotha. Why we say Golgotha? It's a Greek shortening for Goliath of God. It is called the place of the skull. Not inside Jerusalem, but outside of the city. The reason, well, no, let me take my time right there. Now, the reason for this is Jesus is the shadowing. Jesus is the reality of what took place in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, if you're going to serve God, you got to get you a lamb. You got to put it on the brazen altar. And that is on the outside. Before you go in, it's on the outside. Jesus came to fulfill that. So Jesus is the lamb that is to be crucified. He was not crucified in the city. He was crucified at Calcutta. And that's outside of the city. No, no, let's take a time. Let's, uh, let's explain that. Because it's called Calcutta. Why is it called Golgotha? Golgotha means the place of the skull. <laughs> Calvary is the place of the skull. Goliath of God. So which skull is out there? Let's take time please. So Jesus was crucified at Golgotha, the place of the skull. Why they call it the place of the skull? Because his daddy David, yes, sir. he used a stone. Yes, sir. And we know who is the stone? Yes, the stone that the builders reject will become the head corner stone. So the stone is Jesus. Uh, Jesus. So David took up his master. All right. Uh, he said that David, you call him the son of David, but David called him his Lord. So when Jesus came on the scene, you call him the son of David. But when David was here, did David call him his Lord? All right, let's go in right there. Watch this now. So, so David took a stone and he hit Goliath in the forehead, cracked his skull. That took place in Jerusalem. But David took Goliath's sword, cut off Goliath's head, walked with Goliath, Goliath's head, and said, I can't bury this body in. I got to bring him on the altar court. Oh, Shia. Because Genesis 3, verse 15 said that the seed of the woman shall bruise. Oh, Shia. So David bruised Goliath's coat and said, I can bury him in Jerusalem because I fulfill the physical. But when my daddy come, he's going to bruise this call of the devil. So let's bring him at the outer court. My God. Not everybody can understand it, so sit tight. Let's talk. You that is watching, you might have to watch it like four times. Then you will understand. Now, don't miss where I'm at. Tell your neighbor, he's at the three dimension. Don't miss it. The outer court, the inner court, and the holy of holies. 
So Goliath was buried at the outer court. Jesus came and his death, burial and resurrection, he's going to kick the devil in the head, crack his skull, and take away the keys of death and hell. But now, this cannot take place in. Oh, Shia. Oh, Shia Basaya. Are you coming with me? And so now, watch me now. The, the sacrifice, the sacrifice must not take place inside. It got to be on the outside, the brazen lava. Sorry, the brazen altar is at the outside. It's where flesh is being destroyed. No, 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 that's in the shadowing. But that was just a shadow of that which is to come. Because you see, when Jesus died, crucified, on the outside there is where he is destroying flesh. Can I go in on that piece? So, in other words, you see, when Jesus came, he said, if any man is going to come after me, he must first. Somebody say, if you're going to serve God, the first thing you got to do is kill something outside here. You got to first deny your flesh, your desires, your feelings. You got to first de deny there must be a self killing. Oh, Shia, something got to die. Oh, then you take up your cross. Oh, Shia. And cross is the, the, the sign is the sign of death. So Jesus is saying, if you're going to operate from the inner court, you got to first kill something at the outer court. And that's now means your repentance. Oh, touch two people, tell them if you're gonna serve God, the first thing you got to do is repent. Actually, when was the last time you repent? Shia, what did they say? If any man is going to serve God, you have to forget, confess, regret, walk away and leave. Who am I talking to? If you're going to serve God, you must be a turning away from. Oh, Shia, you drag your neighbor, say, neighbor, if you're going to serve God, you got to forget some stuff. You got to walk away from some people. You got to cut away from some things. You can't be serving God and still in that house with that man. Don't look at me like that. You come for a word from God. Let me preach there. You come to hear the truth. If you're going to serve God, you got to get rid of some clothes. Don't follow the religious folks. Don't you follow these societies that tell you that you can serve God anyhow. Ah, is that, that's not in the blueprint. In the blueprint, he said to Moses, Moses, build it according to my pattern. Build it according as I've shown you. Moses is not up to you. Moses, there's a blueprint. Oh, Shia. Now, let me pause and talk to the church. God is raising up a church, a people, who will preach the truth and don't care. They're not looking for a crowd. They're not looking for big offering. They're not looking for big tithes. They just want somebody to live right. Who am I talking to? So let's go back now. There is a blueprint. There's a correct way. If any man is going to serve God, you have to first deny yours. So, they that tell you that you can be, you can give your life to God and still have in a nose ring, neighbor ring. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Slap your neighbor. Say, ah. Serving God and still going. You can't be serving God and still go into your dance hall. You can't be serving God and still going and jacking up and up and. 
who touch somebody tell uh uh if you're going to serve God something got to give way things you used to do you do them no more places you used to go you go there no more clothes you used to wear if any man be in Christ he's a new creature all things oh, where is the worshippers man it's kind of flat like drag somebody and tell them not cut it not trim it mm -hmm. so now if you're gonna serve God there's something got to give way out there he said Moses when you come to the outer court take off your shoe if any man is gonna serve God you gotta take off your shoe it's time to put on a new one baby come on tell anybody if you're gonna serve God the old shoe got to go you can't go where you used to go you can't do what you used to do what was comfortable down there in this shoe it's not comfortable no more what you used to do and you didn't have any conscience mm -mm. when you come to God if you lie your conscience pick you if you lost your conscience pick you if you think wrong your conscience is alive and well. my god where are the true christians in here where are the true christians in here can i find three real christian in here shake your neighbor say neighbor i have a live conscience it's alive shire if i think wrong it beats me oh shire if I ever think something that is not right, tell somebody that's real church. My God, flesh got to die outside of the court. Oh, Shia, can I find 10 more in here that comes to a real church? Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, real church. The world hates real church don't look good from the outside real church is under attack but if a society church you can drink your white rum you can drink your appetite and pepsi you can smoke your weed you can act how you want to act and come and everything is fine but when you come to real church Holy Ghost lift up a standard when you come to real church the Holy Ghost run the church when you come to real church Holy Ghost start to your spirit when you up your mouth and shout again alright so that's the outer court let's talk a little bit about real church he said Moses I want you to put on the roof. Get some goat skin. I want you to get some sheep skin and let them dry. And I want you to use that as the zinc. I want you to use that on the outside. So the goat here and the zinc. The sheep here at the, school, yes, sir, the zinc. So when somebody on the outside look on the tabernacle, it doesn't look good. Oh, shy You better touch your neighbor. Say that's how God designed it, baby. Those who are on the outside of church, when they're on the outside looking in, church look foolish. Church look like a hypocrite. When they're on the outside looking in, church look like oh they're working church don't look real but he said when you go on the inside I want the walls to be purple and gold precious stones the furnitures on the inside must be golden furnitures mm -hmm. touch your neighbor said so that's how it goes from on the outside when you look in church look like foolishness church look boring church look like I just some fishy people but when you come on the inside and you begin to look you realize that goal time oh shy real power real anointing healing and miracle jehovah god sit at the tabernacle my god he's at the altar 
My God, where is the worshippers? Where is the worshippers? Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. He's talking the truth. When I was on the outside, I thought only hypocrites is over there. But when I come on the inside, I realize some prayer warriors, gifted people, anointed people, people with power, people that is called, people that is ju justified, glorified, people that carries the glory of God. Slap two people and tell them, let's go on in. We are at the outer court. It's three levels, baby. Oh, touch your neighbor, tell them it's three levels. It's the level that the flesh is destroyed. And there's two pieces of furniture out there. And these two pieces of furniture that is on the outside, they are not silver and they are not gold. They are branch. And branch signifies the flesh. The first one is the branch altar. That's where sacrifice is made. And it signifies any man is going to serve God. You got to sacrifice something. You got to sacrifice self. Paul said, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God. Which is your reasonable service. So that you can prove and see the acceptable will of God. God, you can never see the divine plan of God for your life until you offer your bodies as living. Mm. And so the first piece of furniture is where repentance is made. If anybody's going to serve God, the first thing you do is repent. And after you repent, you go to the second furniture. And that's fleshly too. And that's called the brazen lava. It's a bronze basin of water. If they're going to serve God in the Old Testament, after the priest make the sacrifice, he have to wash his hands and his feet. Who am I preaching to? Oh, slap your neighbor. Say, neighbor, that was a shadow of things to come. The first one was was repentance the second one is water baptism if you're gonna serve God you have to repent and after you repent you got to be baptized in water in the saving name of God where is the warriors in here it's kind of flat touch your neighbor say neighbor three dimensions three levels come on tell somebody three dimensions three levels and watch how God is big God is the first one that become that sacrifice in order for God to break in our world he became flesh he went to the outer court he destroyed the flesh he allowed the flesh to be crucified then 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 somebody said to him daddy you must not be baptized because you are sinless why would Jesus be baptized and he have no sin and Jesus said to John baptize me now for this fulfill all righteousness so Jesus had no sin but he walked the walk as an example so Jesus not only give the flesh but he went down in the water to show us that if we're gonna serve God we got to give up flesh we got to be baptized and those two are still on the outside flesh in other words, if you repent and baptize in water, that does not mean you're saved. Because you're still on the outside. Touch somebody, tell them water baptism and repentance doesn't mean that you are saved. That's just a part of the plan of salvation. So touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor, if you're baptized in water and repent of your sin, don't give up, don't let go, don't feel like you have everything right. Don't think like you are finished, you are accomplished. You're still on the journey, so you need to continue. Repent. 
repentance and water baptism. At water baptism, God will move your sin. Haven't you read it? What the angel said to Mary, call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Oh, Shia. That's why when you baptize, you must use the saving name. For Acts 4 12 says, Neither is salvation in any other, for there is no other name given among men under heaven whereby you must be saved. So there is only one saving name, and that's the name of Jesus. For God highly exalted the man and put on him the name. Mm -hmm which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father come on now man touch your neighbor say neighbor the flesh you handle you deal with the flesh at repentance and baptism come on warriors but then when you reach to the door I look at the tabernacle now man and at the tabernacle there is no door only the cutting but there is no door how can God have his house Shia Basa come on touch somebody tell him how can God have his house and there is no door in his house where is the worshippers in here, man? Uh huh. Up me your neighbor, say neighbor, touch your neighbor, say neighbor. The reason why because nobody can go through that door there. If a boy ever try, oof, flat out dead. Who am I talking to? If a girl ever try, a witch ever try. Where is the warrior? Throw your head back, man. Open your mouth and say, God, no put no door upon that. The cutting is there. If you think you're about walking, who am I talking to? Where is the worshippers? The devil is afraid. The devil now come at the door. The devil find the window. Oh, shire. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of tight, man. A little bit too flat. I want to run in a man. I want to run in a man can I run please <laughs> now you see God hang the flesh outside oh shy touch your neighbor say neighbor that's the way to God how where we are go touch somebody say God Bishop Akayatina where is the worshippers mm -mm. how much furniture to God somebody say seven furniture to God and Bishop does talk about the two furnitures, two first furniture to God. Oh, shy. Where we are going? God may carry you to you know. If you want to find God, this is the only way you can find God. Anything else are up here. Where is the worshipers? Come on, no man. Come on, no man. Oh, shy. A man was with God, you know. And when man commit that sin, God pushed them out of the garden, out of the tabernacle. A man gone to exile, gone into exile. And God said, I want to bring back man in fellowship. Why you think it's seven pieces of furniture to God? Because man's sin is a perfect sin. Perfect separation from God. So God provides seven furniture to bring back man to God. The first furniture is dead furniture. Brands altar. Because God said, if you ever touch the day you eat of it, you shall surely die. So a death, if you ever break the covenant. Man break the covenant and dead. Oh, Shia. Somebody said, man die. And the only way back to God is death again. Oh, Shia. Tell somebody, say, dead push man from God. And the only way back to God are dead again. All right, can I give you something to write down? Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, if you're born two times, you shall die one time. But if you die one time, 
Let's go back again. Let's, let's repeat again. If you're born once, you're going to die twice. But if you're born twice, you're going to die once. Write down that, man. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Now, voice note it. Yeah. You don't hear me? If you're born once, you're going to die twice. But if you're born twice, you die once. Let's exegete that. Somebody, oh, what kind of foolishness am I saying? So, in Genesis, because the man eat the fruit and die. And then he might go dead after that again. So I do that for him. Oh, shia basa. And God come and say, anybody that can serve me, I'll be dead first. You have to kill flesh. Where is the worshipers? All right, let me explain that, please, because somebody's still asking. I don't understand what Bishop means. If you born one time, that simply means when judgment day come, God is going to call you back to life. And then I'm going to train at the lake of fire, which is a second death. So even though you're dead already, you come back at judgment. And then you're going to dead a second time in a, in a hell fire. So if I only one time you're born, you're going to dead twice. Because even though you're dead and dead, in a grave, God is going to call you back. Judge you and throw you in a hell fire, which is a second death. So if you're only born once, you need to burn twice. Oh, shy of us. Now, if you are born again, you remember when he said to the, to the young man on the house top, Nick by night? He said to Nick in the night, Verily, verily, I say unto you, you must be born again. Because if you are not born again, you cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Let's take our time, warriors. You must teach this when you sit down as a pastor. You remember that my bishop teach me this. Where is the worshipers? Let them vex. Don't worry about them. Let them vex. Come on, warriors. Watch me now, preacher. And so if you are born again, you're born from above. And if you are born again, when the first trumpet sung, the dead in Christ shall rise to meet the Lord in the air. Now that's it. That's it. Will not be in the when God said death that is in See, grave. God call all the dead in the grave. God call all the dead in the sea. Great and small to stand before him. And the books were open. And the names. Watch me now. The books were open. Because hell delivered up the dead. Death and grave delivered up the dead. The seed of the dead, and they're standing before the judgment of God, before the great white throne, and they were judged according to the things which are written in the book. Now, now the Christians won't be there, those who are born again won't be there because those who are born again, them gone up already. They gone up in the first resurrection. They gone up. Where is the worshippers? They gone up with the Lord. So when the great tribulation are going down here, they are not around. They are with the Lord for seven years. Who am I talking to? You better touch your neighbor, say neighbor. So the second death have no power and the blood bought once because they are already already risen 
the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God for the trumpet of God shall sound and the dead in Christ which one are the dead? the dead the rest are dead will stay dead come on come on where is the worshippers only the dead in Christ will hear Come on, no warriors. I say only the dead in Christ will hear the trumpet. The rest of dead will stay. Oh, shire. But the dead in Christ shall rise to meet the Lord. Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, that thing that Bishop is preaching is no ordinary preaching. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep but we shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye oh shire shan the messiah somebody touch your neighbor say this mortal shall put on immortality stop oh shire you see those who are born again they are immortal already oh shire Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, look at me, good, immortal. Oh, shy. It's that some people don't get it. Touch two people, tell them, look at me, good, eternal life. Oh, shy. My God, I wonder if everybody in here have it. Come on, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, look at me, good. I have it in my belly. I've got eternal life in my belly. Anybody get the Holy Ghost? Eternal life is in you. For the Spirit, if any man have the Spirit, the same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, if that Spirit dwelleth in you, it shall quit it. Your mortal body and this mortal shall put on immortality. This corruption shall put on in corruption then shall come the same oh death where is thy sting oh grave where is thy victory for who the course have swallowed up you better open your mouth if you have holy ghost in your belly you you better a holy ghost check tonight holy ghost check holy ghost check holy ghost check if any man have that spirit, he's none of his. Holy Ghost Church. Shia. Ya Messiah. Ya Papa Papa Sha. Shanda. I came to church one night and my heart was not right. But something got a hold of me. Anybody know who hold me? Touch your neighbor say, Holy Ghost, hold me. And when you're baptized, I can call out the date. Call out the deed and declare from that day, Holy Ghost, hold me. They pick me up, lick me down, but the Holy Ghost fire, it won't go out. Anybody got fire? Anybody got Holy Ghost fire? Tell somebody it won't go out. They persecute me, but it won't go out. They lie on me, they backbite me, they up on me, they shot me. That you are water, but the fire won't go out. Somebody take two minutes and say it won't go out. Shia, Yamashia, Yapa, Papa, Pasha, Shanda. My God, Holy Ghost, check. Touch your neighbor belly and say fire. Shia, Holy Ghost, check. I say find about three people and touch your belly and say fire. Somebody touch it and say fire. And if when you touch it, I'll know not now move. Touch it three times and say fire, fire, fire. I charge you. Shanda. My God. Only the Holy Ghost can take you up. When the trumpet sound, only the Holy Ghost can snatch you. 
Shayabasa. Somebody stir it up tonight. 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 No money can buy. Silver and alcohol. Can't redeem it. Only the efficacious blood. Somebody show the blood. Eternal blood. Shaya. Mama, mama. Mama, mama, mama. Somebody take two minutes. Holy Ghost shake. Take two minutes. Feel your belly and see if the water flow. For out of your belly shall flow rivers of living. Tell somebody this water is not dead. Living water. Eternal water. Divine water. Heaven's water. Glory water. Power water. Healing water. Let it flow. Shire. My God, I feel the power of God. I feel the anointing. Yes, you can come now and say chalk. I say you can come now and say chalk. Six more hundred thousand chalk. I say six more hundred thousand chalk. Let the devil swell be gone, boss chalk. Where is the warriors? Somebody throw your head back and say chalk. We're going for the truck. Shire. Yamasaya. My God, I feel it in my hands. I feel it in my feet. I feel the Holy Ghost stretching out in me. Somebody shout again. Somebody shout again. Shout one more praise. Shout one more glory. Shout a glory. Hallelujah. Shout a glory, thank you, Jesus. Throw your head back and say, glory, power. Heaven's power. Eternal power. Zoe power. God's power is in my belly. Somebody open your mouth. Send one more praise up. Shout one more glory. Shaya basa. Yama masaya. Yapa pa 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 sa. Shanda Basaya. Somebody take two minutes, man. Somebody take two minutes. Take two minutes. Take two minutes. Take two minutes and praise God. Take two minutes and lift him up. Take two minutes and magnify. Take two minutes and worship. Somebody shout a glory. Hallelujah. A glory. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody give him one more praise. Somebody give him one more shout. 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 God say he's your healer. Jesus say he's your healer. He was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of the peace was upon him. And with his stripes, you are he. Somebody open your mouth. Warriors, open your mouth. Hallelujah. Somebody take two minutes. Give God a stronger praise. Hallelujah. Somebody lift Jesus higher. Yes, Jesus said, if I be lifted up from this earth, I will draw. Shire. Shanda. Yeah, Messiah. Shaya Basaya. Yeah, my Messiah. Two hands high. Now, don't forget this. When Jesus says, If I be lifted up from this earth, I will draw all men unto me. In context, watch me. In context, you have context and pretext. In context, Jesus was not saying, if you praise me, I will draw you closer. In context, Jesus was saying, if I am lifted on the cross, because it's seven different doorways, it's seven different furnitures. 
And the only way man can go back to God is to go through Jesus. So Jesus is that sacrifice. He is that death. God, God, where is the worship us? So when he die at Calvary, he swing a door open so I can crucify the flesh. Where is the worship us? And anytime you crucify the flesh, you are on your way. Where is the worshippers? Touch your neighbor say, repent, man. Anything you have done, ask God for mercy. Confess your sin to him right now. Where is the worshippers? Repentance is the way. Somebody open your mouth and say something, the man. Come on, take two minutes and repent in this house. Everyone in the hearing of my voice, repent. You sin. In words, in deeds, and in action. Somebody repent. Repentance is the way back to God. My God. Is there anybody in here on repentance ground? Is there anybody in here can confess to God? Anything the Holy Ghost bring to your mind, confess it. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa, Papa, sir. Shanda. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody up your mouth. Yes, sir. Somebody said, if you repent, if you repent, you're on your way to the Holy of Holies. Don't stop. And after you repent and confess, after you repent and you confess, then a washing time. Where is the warriors in here? Where is the worshippers in here? For those who are not yet baptized in water, your washing is going to the water and be baptized in the saving name of God. Listen to me, I don't preach denomination. I'm not a denomination preacher. I preach the way to God. Now, if after you repent the baptizer did not by faith call on the name the saving name of God don't let them fool you go back and do it listen to Bishop Baker go back and do it touch somebody tell them go back and do it because the Bible said whatever you do in words or in action do all in the name of Jesus and when you do that, you're giving glory to God. For Jesus is the way to God. Come on. Now, if you have already been to the water. And you want to. You feel like you are driven. driven. You feel like you are in exile. You feel like you are not where you should be in God. The way back to God. First, repent and confess. Known and unknown sin. Where is the worshippers? Where is the warriors? It's kind of tight. Throw your head back and say, repent. Repentance is the way to God. Who am I preaching to? It's kind of a little bit flat. Now, if you already been to the water and you need a fresh washing, the Bible said you wash by the word. Somebody said the word will wash you. That's why you must not cease coming to church. Because the word is rich in this house. Oh, tell your neighbor, this house have the word, you know. Come on, warriors. Tell your neighbor, sometime I'll two hours, three hours word. Don't follow the disobedient ones. That come to church and when the word are you outside. That's why they commit so much sin in their mind. Where is the worshiper? Somebody say, if you don't stay in the word, you're unclean. Oh, Shia. The word wash. Where is the warriors in here? Say something, man. The word man shall not live by physical food alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Hands. How do I wash? 
myself after I confess and repent. Speak the word over yourself. Where is the worshipers? Can I speak the word over you tonight? Lift your hands in the air and say something. Come on, somebody open your mouth and say, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. But the word of God declare, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and trust to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all and righteousness somebody throw your head back and say wash me holy ghost cleanse me holy ghost sanctify me holy ghost shia And if you do that, you're closer than you was this morning. Somebody say, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Come on. And if you have just done that, you move from the flesh. We're going into the mind region now. We are going to the soulish region now. The soulish region. Come on, somebody. The soul side. The second dimension. And it's the door. You reach to the door. At the door, inside, the first piece of furniture is the golden lampstand. Shia Basa. Tell somebody that's inside. That's the baptism of the Holy Ghost. When you get the Holy Ghost, you are no more outside. You are inside of the kingdom. Where is the worshippers? Anybody have the Holy Ghost? Anybody of the Holy Ghost, tell somebody you are inside of the kingdom. Where is the warriors? It's the baptism of the Holy Ghost that ushers you inside. Somebody say something. It's kind of flat. Say something. It's a little bit too tight. Say something. Now, I hear somebody's asking a question. Listening to this service and ask the question. They just say, if it's the Holy Ghost that take you inside of the kingdom. If I get the Holy Ghost, I'm in a baptized in Jesus' name. Why should I go back and baptize in Jesus' name? Let me answer you. So, the question is, Bishop, if I get the Holy Ghost, I'm in a church that don't believe in baptism in Jesus' name, and I get the Holy Ghost, why should I go back and baptize in water, in the name of Jesus. And I'm already inside the kingdom. Good question that deserve an honest answer. Now, the apostles are our example. So I know that these questions were thrown to them. Now, in Acts chapter 10, the Bible said Peter was preaching to the house of Cornelius. And the Bible said, while Peter yet spake, the Holy Ghost fell on them that heard the word. Because they heard them speak in tongues. And Peter said, can any man forbid these from being baptized? Because they have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. For we heard them speak in tongues. Now, they were already baptized with the Holy Ghost. But Peter sent them back to the water. So touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Touch every furniture. Don't pass none. Where is the worshippers in here? Fulfill everything. Where is the worshippers? For Jesus set the example and he touched every furniture because he's every furniture. Oh, touch your neighbor. Say, Jesus had the furniture, every furniture. The, the bronze altar, Jesus, and him go crucify. And, and the bronze lava, Jesus, and him a wash away. And the golden lampstand, and Jesus, and him a filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, Jesus, where is the worshippers in here? It's kind of flat. Throw your hands in the air. Outer court, inner court, 
and holy of holies. I won't go to the seven furnitures. You know them. I teach them already. What I'm trying to say to you tonight is that there is three dimension that men operate from. The question is, what, di what, what dimension are you? Where are you located? Are you one that lives, you pitch your tent at the outer court? You pitch your tent at the inner court? Are you are dwelling in the holy of holies? Where is your tent? God send me to ask you tonight where you pitch your tent. Tell somebody, tell him there's three dimensions. Shaya Basaya. Baptism in water. You're coming with me. Baptism in spirit. And baptism in fire. Which dimension are you? Outer court, inner court, our holy of holies, flesh, soul, our spirit. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where do you function? Where are you locate? Where can I find you? When you come to church and you sing, where are you singing from? When you exalt, where is your tent? Where are you operating from? When you preach, when you sing on the choir, when you play the music, where is your tent? God said to ask you. Oh, Shia. Oh, when you sow your seed, where did you sow it from? Because God said to tell you, there is a few that sow from the third dimension and receive a prophet's reward. There is some that operates from the third dimension and receive an hundredfold. Where are you? Come on, ask him about where are you? Oh, Shia. Isaac sowed and receive an hundredfold in that same year. Come on, somebody. I said, in that same year. Oh, Shayabasa. In that what? In that same year. And guess what? The land that he was sowing on was experiencing famine. Shia. But when it comes on to God's economy, it, it does not depend on the earthly realms. Who am I talking to? You can be walking under a curse, but sow from the third dimension and receive an hundredfold while everybody else is experiencing famine. You are experiencing greatness. You are waxing great and great. Where is the warriors in here, man? It's kind of tight. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth. Uh -huh. Somebody need to pick up the tent tonight. Somebody need to pitch your tent somewhere else. For too long, your tent is pitched in the outer court. And God says, I does not live at the outer court. Come on, somebody. I feel something shifting. We're are the warriors in here there was a famine there was a famine there was a famine in Israel and Elijah was operating from the third dimension and God says to him go to the brook go to the brook of chariot because I have commanded the raven to feed you dear the man get up and pitch his tent Shia Basaya pitch his tent beside the brook chariot and while the prophet was there heaven locate him and the man get bread in famine oh Shia we said the man get bread in famine. God will give you bread in famine. If your paint tent is pitched at the right place. Shia Basaya. The man get flesh. 
the man gets dead in the front. Where is the warriors? You better open your mouth and say, when God get ready to release the hundredfold, no famine can black God. Who am I talking to? Come on, anything God want to give you, he'll find a raven. Mm, and give the raven your address. Give the raven your location. Who am I talking to? You better open your mouth and shout a high praise in here. I said, God, I got open door and no man can shut. Somebody open your mouth and shut back him. Open your mouth and yell at him. Open your mouth and give God. Tell somebody my hundredfold. My hundredfold is about to release. Not next week. Not, not 2024. 2023. I'm experiencing my hundredfold. The year is not done yet. And my miracle is still possible. Shut up. 63 days to go my miracle is still possible who am i talking to you better take throw your head back open your mouth and release it over your own life i'm moving in the inner court i'm moving in the holy place i'm moving by the spirit who am i talking to not flesh not soul not mine but i need the holy ghost Paul said you must walk in the spirit you must talk in the spirit in other words operate from the spirit operate from the holy of holies and watch oh god reward you just because you're operating from the spirit somebody open your mouth and shout open your mouth and shout somebody say i need a prophet's reward somebody say i need a prophet's reward i need a prophet's reward i need my prophet's reward bishop 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 i need my prophet reward bishop i'm pulling it out of you shanda basai yeah, Messiah. Shanda Messiah. Yeah, Mama Masa. Yeah, Papa Papa Messiah. Shanda. Yes, sir. If me not get it, if me not receive it, then me can't preach it. If me not receive it, then me can't give it. But the fact that God give me, you can pull it out of me. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Where is the believers in here? God, I love your house where you can build. Oh, Shia. Where is the believers in here that believe God tonight? I said, God, I love your car where you can buy. Where is the believers? Shanda. Shia. Isaac. God shall make you laugh. Somebody reach your neighbor, say, Neighbor, my hundredfold is my laugh blessing. Up your mouth and say, Man, my hundredfold is my last blessing. Somebody say, My hundredfold is my laugh blessing. I mean, ridiculous laugh. Where is the worshippers? Where is the believers? Take two minutes and say, Holy Ghost, I bless me. A Holy Ghost, I pour it out. A Holy Ghost, I open the door. A Holy Ghost, and when Holy Ghost bless you, God shall make you laugh. Who am I talking to? I said, God shall make you laugh. Isaac me laughter. Y'all hear me? Yes, Listen me good. Y'all hear me? Yes, Listen me good. Prophet your word and an ordinary. Prophet your word and women. You laugh. 
I mean, you laugh. Yes. Prophet you watch on ridiculous. <laughs> Somebody say ridiculous. ridiculous. Can I talk to you? Yes. Guess when they see the big old house we got gear. Let me wipe it on you. You see, when they see the host, let me deal with the host first. You see, when they see the host, I see the big old host. You hear them now? What a host big. And then, you really mean that house? That 10 bedroom house? And then, them ask, how much I want to live in it? And then you said, two. You mean two are you living at a 10 bedroom? That is rich. Come on, no man. Where is the warriors in here? It's kind of too tight. It's kind of too flat. Where is the worshippers in here? Can I go in on that? I mean, ridiculous blessing. Some must say ridiculous blessing. My hundredfold ridiculous. Tell two people ridiculous. It make people envy me. It make people chat me. It make people hate me. Where you wanna do it, want two on alone and live in a one ten. Bed. Ridiculous, Isaac. I mean, I mean, I mean, come here, son. I mean, watch this now. I mean, ridiculous, I mean. You are serve God. And when you look, God no give you one car. God no give you two car. God no give you three car. God give you six car. And somebody see you drive the car today. And see you drive that one tomorrow. And see you drive that one the next day. And somebody say, oh, how much car she have? Oh, how much car him have? And somebody said, no, it's a six. And the person said, that is rich. The amount of man is kind of a little bit too flat in here. It's kind of a little bit too flat in here. Somebody said, somebody said, the third dimension is the more than enough dimension. God, make them vex and curse and, and vomit. Come on, come on, Isaac. Come on, Isaac. He's sold in famine. And God gave him a hundred foot. God bless him so big. Why worry as them, man? I feel somebody I get a hundred foot, you know. I feel somebody I get a hundred foot, you know, man. King Jesus, listen to me now. King Jesus, listen to me now. God tell me. God tell me, son, I could touch two persons and the chalk is bought. God said, I could just touch one and you get two chucks. But he said, I want my children to share in the hundredfold. So touch your neighbor, say, don't let my 10,000 fool you. Don't let my 100,000 fool you. Don't let my 50,000 fool you. It might look like a drop in the bucket. But, but, it's coming not from my flesh. It's coming not from my mind. But out of my spirit, I saw that seed. And before the year is done, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking? My God, you hear that? Who am I talking to? Stand up. I hear the Lord say he's going to hit you with a hundredfold. I hear the Lord say he's going to hit you. 
with a prophet's reward. Shanda Messiah. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa, Papa, sir. Stretch your hands towards her. I hear the Lord say a hundredfold. A prophet's reward is about to come your way. I release it over you. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right now. Shine. Somebody help her. Up your mouth and 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 shout again. Shout one more. I said, shout one more. Show the one more. Show the one more. Show the one more praise. Hands I envied. Envied. Shia. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor, don't envy me if a word come my way. Shia Basaya. Shanda Basaya. Yamasaya. Yapa Papa Shanda. He wants to release an hundredfold. He wants to re re release a prophet's reward. And watch how God operate. He said, Move now, boy. Move from the book chariot. And I want you to go over to Sarafat. For there is a widow. There is a widow. I want to give a prophet's reward. There is a widow. There is a widow. I commanded to feed you there. Who am I talking to? The prophet went to Zarephath and was at the city gate. And here comes the widow with a little bit of water. And God want to bless her with a prophet's reward. And the prophet pointed on her and said, give me some water to drink. Where is the warriors in here? Where is the warriors in here? Where is the worshippers in here? Anytime God wants to bless you, He first tell you to release something. Come on, touch your neighbor. Say, anytime God wants to bless you, He command you to release something because anything you hold in your hand will hinder you from receiving. So he first tell you to receive empty so you can receive. Where is the warriors? He wants to bless the woman. He sent the prophet. The prophet was there to bless her. Oh, Shia, touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, the prophet was there to bless her. Shia, come here. Bring me my, my rod, please. Shaya Basa. Shanda. You're here for somebody on somebody's behalf? Yes, the Lord told me. Use this rock. Wipe the face and watch the complete deliverance for the person. Where is the worshiper? Say something, warriors. Say something, warriors. Say something, warriors. Say something, warriors. Tell her, tell her, not her face, the person's face. Run, go. Come on, warrior, say something. God wants to bless the widow. Who God wants to bless? The widow. Watch the principle of God. Don't watch the covetous and the bad mind. Watch God's word. God wants to bless the widow. And when the prophet comes with the blessing, mm -hmm. the first thing the prophet does is ask, give me some water. Water was scarce commodity. Yes, sir. There was a drought, a famine. And the thing that was scarce, the prophet asked for. Shia Basa, come with me. God says, son, I could provide that truck, but I provide a seed to my people. Oh, touch your neighbor, say, God says he gives seed to the sowers. And some eat the seed and never reap the harvest. I, as a pastor, realize this. 
The persons that need the most are always the persons that covet us. Mm -hmm. You know that word? You never know. I as the pastor know that. The people them were mean. And them always want. And the people them were kind. Always afraid to ask. You have to tell no man, no problem, man. Ask, man. What's wrong with you? Where is the worshippers in here? And the, the covetous one. Up me your mouth and say something, no man. Watch the cliche. The Bible says, the Bible says that the prophet was sent to take her out of poverty. And when the prophet saw her, the prophet said, give me some water. And the woman gave it to the prophet. The woman never hitched. Murmur not complain. But she recognized. Oh, Shia. Oh, touch two people and tell them, if you see the prophet as a prophet. If you see the prophetic in the prophet. Then you will reap. The prophet's reward. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? I see so many persons traveled from all over the world and come and receive their blessing. Elder was reminding me of somebody that the person traveled from Canada and the person was sitting down in the pew over that side. And I went down there and I prophesied to somebody next to the person. You hear me? And when I walk off, I heard a name. It was the person that traveled from Canada. I heard the person's name. And then God says, their desire is so strong. Then she know you're a prophet and she travel for a prophet's reward where is the worshippers in here where are the warriors turn around and I begin to call out her name and tell her exactly what's happening to her and lay my hand on her and deliverance came she said she had the problem for years where are the warriors in here you're coming with me preacher man and the prophet said to her, give me water. God wants to bless her, but God tests her. Oh, touch two people and tell them, no man. God wants to bless her, but God. Come on, no man, it's flat. I said, tell two people, God wants to bless her, but God tests her. Some of you, listen to what is some of your tests. Some of your tests. Is the test that they give to every prophet. Blessed are you women revive and speak on man of evil against you falsely. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward which is in heaven for a soul. Persecute they. The prophets which were before you. In other words that's the prophet's test. Every prophet Jesus did not perform many miracles in Nazareth where he grew up. Why? Because of unbelief. Why unbelief? Because in Nazareth there was rumors about Jesus. And the rumors caused the people not to believe in Jesus. So Jesus had to leave Nazareth and go to another community where the people don't know him and perform miracles. He didn't do much miracle in Nazareth. Why? Because of the prophetic attack. There is an attack for every prophet. As long as you're a prophet, there's going to be rumors about you. Why? 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 Because when you are called to be a prophet, you carry the keys for everyone that is in your community. The keys to unlock Whatever they are going through. 
Now, the demons knew that. Unclean spirit knows that the prophet carried the anointing to destroy every attack you go through. Now, if you don't believe in the anointing that is in the prophet, you cannot receive from the anointing in the prophet. So, I'm trying to help you, not me. Touch somebody and said, Bishop is trying to help you, not him. So, the devil knows that the prophet carries the anointing to unlock, to release your prophet's reward. There's only one thing can stop you from receiving it. And that's unbelief. If you don't believe in the anointing, you can't receive from the anointing. No prophet is honored in his own hometown. Why? Because of unbelief. Because of rumors that the enemy used. He used it on Jesus himself. And he is the prophet that have the spirit without measure. And they use it on him. Let me take my time, please. Elijah was not sent to none of the widows in his hometown. He was sent to Zarephath. You know the amount of Leaders in this church, when we preach, then shut off and God show me them. Huh? And then can't get nothing. When they think they get, they don't get nothing. Then can't reap from the anointing and somebody from far come and get it. Like tonight. I see the breakthrough drop and you come here. Shire. I see something black. I see one black diamond. I see one black nice speaker. Just come from nowhere and drop it in your hand. Drive me preacher. Drive. And let them vex till them burst. Shia. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Where are the warriors in here, man? Where are the worshippers in here? Drive, preacher, drive. Drive all over the island. Drive. Drive, preacher, drive. Shanda Messiah. Yeah, Messiah. My God, where are the warriors in here, man? Where are the worshippers in here? Where are the worshippers in here? Open your mouth and give God one more. Give one, one more. Drive around. Drive out. Drive around St. Elizabeth. Drive to St. James. Drive Manchester. Shia Basa. Yeah, Messiah. Drive in style. Drive your press button. We are the warriors in here, man. Say something. Open your mouth and give God a high praise. Give the Lord a high praise. Hundred. Some as a hundred fool. Prophet's reward. Come here. Choose a night when I talk. When you begin to speak, it pulls my spirit. It was real. It was coming from your belly. Covetous people begin to shake. Covetous people begin to shake. But, 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 somebody said, but, I identify the prophet. And if I see the prophet as a prophet, where is the worshippers in here, man? Open your mouth and Shabbat the king. Shabbat the king. This is what you do. 
You come and step past them. And come take. You come pull away. You can take what's rightfully yours. Shia. Yamasaya. Yapapapasha. Somebody better open your mouth and yada. Up your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Shanda Basa. My God, where is the worshippers? Then here. Then here the bishop again. Where are the warriors? Then vex with the bishop again, but me no mind. Me no mind. Hallelujah. And God call me. Where is the warriors in here? They say, Jesus called me. I was minding my own business. And Jesus called me and put his hand on me. And his hand is heavy on me. Where is the worshiper? Say something in here. Up your mouth and yada. The woman. The woman was picking up sticks. And the prophet show up. And the prophet said, give me some water. One glance. Where is the worshippers in here? Someone said, one glance. And the woman realized that here is a prophet standing before me. And the people in my community yes, sir. call him all kind of names. The man of your hide. I broke him and then I drank off he the man. Who am I run from? He own people. Oh, Shia Basa. Where is the warriors? Sometimes I not even want to go on the road. You know hear me? Sometimes I not even want to go on the road. Sometimes I just stay in my house. Because of people. Where is the worshippers in here? You know hear me say? Sometimes I don't even want to go on the street. Because of people. And when we go to Kingston, it's a complete different thing. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the work? You think, you think people easy? My God, I feel the power of the Holy Ghost in my belly. The man I hide from his own. From who? His own. And if you don't believe me, go read John chapter 1. The Bible says he came unto his own. And his own receive him not. You can't fool me. Bishop, me love you, ain't it? Bishop, remember, I know me love you. You know me respect you, sir. A liar tell. Because you can't respect me in a the chat. Then something about me behind my back. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Where is the warriors in here, man? Where are the believers in here? Where are the believers in here? I tell you this. You see what the Holy Ghost told me to do a while ago with you? Yes, sir. You see, if I did some people, yes, sir. or somebody were connected to them, a yes, the whole church bust up. I know some no move. I know some hand no gossip. Where is the worshippers? <laughs> too tight, man. It's too tight. Where are the believers in here? If it was ever somebody that is connected to them, that bishop said, God said, 100 fold, I come. Bishop said, one black vehicle come in your way. My God. No, but I know them not come out of the Holy Ghost. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Where are the believers in here, man? It's kind of flat, too tight. Where are the worshippers in here? Somebody say something, man. Somebody say something. Somebody throw your head back. Open your mouth and say something. Throw your head back and say something. The Bible says that the prophet said to the woman, Give me some water. That was a test for her. Touch three people and tell them the truck was a test for you. After this week, I done. 
Where is the worshippers in here? Tell somebody the truck was a test for you. Yes, sir. God could have sent somebody from Timbuktu and bless the bishop. Watch. Let me see the next one and see. Where is the worshippers in here? Somebody said the test. The truck was a test. To see if you're going to give water. Oh, Shia Basa. And the Bible said, the Bible said that the woman gave the prophet the water to drink. And the prophet took the water and drank it. And because she gave the prophet the water, the prophet said, I'm coming to your house. There are so many houses in town, but I'm coming to your house. There are so many widows in Zarephath, but I'm coming to your house. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? When the prophet reached her house. Come here preacher. Your ministry shall shift from where it is to up here. Shaya Basa. You're working at a radio station? I think you should be working at two radio stations. Oh. Hey. Where is the worshippers in here? Lord, I think you should come to Vice Radio Station and do some work over there too. Because Vice Radio Station shall become the number one radio station in the island of Jamaica. Don't wait until we become the number one. Where are the warriors in here? Up your mouth, man. Up your mouth. 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 Because Vice Radio Station, the app for the station is going to be given to everyone that is connected. King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. So we are going to have persons from all over the world tuning in to Vice Radio Station. Where is the worshiper? Say something. Where are the warriors? You believe God? You believe God? Watch me now. So get ready, son. Get ready, son. All island move. Shia, somebody help him. Somebody help him. Somebody help him. Somebody help him. Shia Basa. Yes! That's it, son. That's it. A fresh flow. A fresh flow. The 14 parish shall know you. The 14 parish of Jamaica shall hear of you. Shall know of you. Your vice shall be known. All over this world, set the Lord. Somebody open your mouth. Somebody open your mouth. Somebody open your mouth. Shout again. Shout one more praise. Hands on. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Shia Basa. Watch me. The prophet is now at her house. And the prophet was sent to take her out of poverty and put her in a wealthy place. Touch your neighbor and tell them your prophet can do that. Oh, Shia Basa. Where is the worshippers in here? Open your mouth and say, it's in your prophet. It's in your prophet. He can take you from where you are and shift you into a wealthy place. Where are the believers? It's in his spirit. My God. My God. My God. I wonder if you can believe it. My God. My. My, my, my. My, 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 Mama, somebody open your mouth. Open your mouth if you believe it. 
If you believe it, shout a praise. Come on. The prophet was sent to shiver from the place of not enough into a place of more than enough and watch how the prophet shift her the prophet say bake me a cake she said all I have is a mass of flour and a cruise of oil just enough to make one cake for me and my son and then we die the prophet say I carry something way down in my belly to shift you from where you are and place you in the land of more than enough Shia Basa Ya Messiah Ya Papa Papa Sha where is the warriors in here where is the worshippers that believe God tonight that believe God tonight that believe God tonight that a turn around a mighty turning around can take place tonight the prophet says bake me a cake first I only have one cake I only have one cake for me and my son and then we die the prophet say out of that one cake bake me one first where is the warriors in here where is the worshipers in here where are the believers in here Shayabasa. stop let's talk if it was 2023 Elijah did that they would call him a false prophet. They would say he's a prosperity preacher. They would say Elijah is a thief and a wicked. Because the woman is a widow. She don't have a husband. And the woman don't have nothing. But the prophet will tell her forgive him. Out of her loss. This man is a wicked man. That's how they would describe him in 2023. So we got to be careful over here. Shayabasa. If it was 2023, they'll put him on CVM. The cleaner would have him on page, first page. He would be on B, BBC. And you would hear that the man is a wicked man. This pastor tell the woman to take out. She have 100 dollars in her account. And the pastor said, give him 80. He's a wicked man. Where is the worshippers in here? Where are the warriors in here? Where are the believers in here? Shia Basa, hands high. God wants to give her a prophet's reward. The prophet asks her for a sacrifice. The prophet asks her to give, to rent herself to give. But she knows that this man is a prophet of. How she know that? I never. The man no live where she live. The man never do. No miracle makes she see. But yet she's convinced that here comes a prophet of God. Where are the believers in here? Where are the warriors in here? Hallelujah. You ever wonder, preacher? Yes, sir. The persons who work, yes, sir. them may really have no pro problem in the service. No, sir. And the person that may not work, they may come out of church and tell people about time. Yes, sir. <laughs> Should I repeat that? Yes. The people them who are work hard, 
then give the sacrifice to God and worship God and come to church, come worship God and say, King Jesus is different from everybody else. So I could just give God the time and go and go give God some praise. The people them went now and do no work. But they are in the yard and lazy. I mean, lazy them one, them one bishop mind them. I told me, I don't look at me like that. And them I have serious problems. You know? And then when them go outside, them and sow their seed. I tell people about what make Bishop can do quick, man. What make church have been over so late. And I try to poison the people them heart. Oh, touch your neighbor, say, leave me alone, man. I try to spoil me, man. Leave me alone. If you have a problem, find one next church. Where is the worshippers in here? Just find one next church, man. And leave us alone. Where is the real, real warriors? Touch somebody, tell them, it's my seed, baby. Where are you? Come on, tell somebody, this is my seed. Don't, leave, don't trouble me. Leave me alone. When God ready for change this, it will change. Where are the warriors in here? Where are the believers in here? Touch two people and tell them, leave me alone. All right, that one was, that one was a hammer. Somebody just get a lick, you know. Me just touch one nail. Boop. I hope your head tear off. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Shire. So listen out for them, you know. Listen out for them. Listen out for them. Anytime they come, just say, man, what to you? If you don't like your time, man, go on in your yard, man. Go on with a body. Or go on with a Barclay. Shire. You know the amount of pastor the church of pastor come here? Stop out with, with uh, stop out. We don't just, uh, stop a little London, no man. I wind up on the bridge named Glory. Why not stop them, man? They're over 9.30. Somebody want vomit now. Where your vex from? Where your vex from? Stop the vexing. I choose Bishop Batal, man. Where is the warrior? Show your head back and put a praise on that. Somebody. You can't laugh enough. I gotta go make you laugh. Laugh, man. Nothing wrong with that. God shall make you laugh. Laugh. Laugh after you all heap of them. Because you know them, you know, so laugh. A him bishop attack, a she bishop attack. Yes. I'm not afraid to know. Holy Ghost did it. I know and tell me, so I talk it. And some man, all right, I'm going to look deeper in there. Come with me. No, some man, stay sure. I'm going with some people. Some man, stay sure, yeah, man. Hey, some of them, you know. I hear so them there. I hear so them born. I hear so them cry. And God give them a work. What God do? So then they are right when they, before they have a work. God give them a work. Now and now as they get to work, they start a problem with God. Left the church and stay with the work. All right, that's your ball and get in. Right, just your come and say, God, please qualify me and give me this word, Lord. And God gave him before you get qualification. Just for sure, say, him give And now God give you. And you get so hype, the hype up on God. So then go on, you know. And so then go on. You go on, hype on God. And go on. And when you go on with the work, you will see who did give it and who I got keep it with you. Hey, me know one in him. He tell me something sitting. Me say, tell me something sitting. And he, and he called some man who obey a worker. Yes, sir. Bishop. Yes, sir. What is it, Bishop? This person is not working over. Me say, no. no Bishop, God tell us. I say, yes, God tell me. Say, somebody now won't know. I left the people them alone. Don't look at me like that, man. Is it true? And guess what? Guess who a big over worker? The person left the church and become big over worker. That means there's something didn't happen a long time. Yes, You're watching people who love to talk about people. But you know, say that somebody over a worker. You watch them. You watch. 
Again, again. Where is the worshippers in here? Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Come on. Keep your conscience yes, clean. Yes, sir. Clean, clean. And if you, you know you're not going to so you're going to judge people. Bro. Where is the warrior? Say something in here, man. Lord God, then vex with the bishop again. I said, touch two people and tell them if you know you're not going to up, you're not judge people. Leave all judgment to God, man. Leave the people them alone. Just like how you serve God, they must serve God too. My God, it's kind of flat. Too tight, man. Throw your head back and put a praise on that. Hallelujah. Put a praise on that, man. Put a praise on that. Oh. Hands in the air. I'm coming down. 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 The prophet stand before the woman. And the prophet asks for an offering. Bake me a cake first. And the woman could find a reasonable excuse. Because she only have one cake left. But the woman believed that if I take care of the prophet, God will take care of me. Oh, shy. What God wants to give the woman? What God wants to give the woman? What God wants to give the woman? A prophet's reward. And God provide a prophet for the woman. And God asks her to sow out of her nothing. And when she baked the prophet that cake first, poverty cease. We have all the worshipers in here. We have all the believers in here. We have all the believers in here. Somebody show your head back, open your mouth, and declare it in this house. A prophet's reward is mine. Shia Basa, where is the worshipers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Somebody say something, man. Up me a mouth and say something in here. Up me a mouth and yad at the kick in here. Somebody declare it in this house. Brother Leon, Minister Leon, I know some of your bad mind and covetous and fight against. I don't care about you who fight. I'm not in that with you. You fight and trouble and fight who you think bad about who you want to think bad about. I'm not in that with you. Minister Leon, Minister Leon Brown, Pastor Leon Brown, and Missionary Brown. They text me today again. They are in England. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Where is the worshippers in here? Now they are in England. They are with Elder Walker. Elder Walker will take care of them for me. Where is the worshippers? But he's not gonna. But he's not gonna be with them. They're not gonna be with him for too long. Don't look at me like that. Hallelujah. Because I see an opening. Where is the worshippers? And I see where God bless him. And there will be there will be a King Jesus Pentecostal fellowship. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? And let me, let me, let me. Yes, let me, let me talk to you. Because some of you don't even know what is hard. You look an outward appearance. You hear when they talk about that hundred thousand that they saw? You think that I only think they saw? That I only think they talk. Where is the worshippers in here? Up your mouth and say something in here, man. Up your mouth and say something in here. Where are the believers in here? And, and, God give them them prophets reward. And if you want vex, you vex. You hear me? If you want to do it, if you want vex, you vex. And boss, where is the worshiper? And come here, son. Come here. I know you're under whoop attack already. Come here. Come here. Come here, pastor. Come here. You know, sir, bishop is a giver. I always remember this. Bishop is a what? Giver. Not a what? Me not take a me a giver. Where is the worshipers? In every year of my life, I am a 
I will never be a... Next week you will understand what I just said. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Man, say something in here. So, when I anoint deacon, I was not taking deacon from Five Barclays Street, from, from Petersville to, to King Jesus. Negrel. Tell somebody, no, another thing I do. What Bishop did is place a corporate calling. So he operates anywhere he's in. Where is the worshipers in here? So, when you are here, I anoint you to take the mic. You see, like Brother Leon, how Brother Leon does no business with no face. And he just take mic and just do what God tell him to do. I see him anointing me put by you. So, Brother Leon, one gone, but Brother Leon, two is here. Where is the worshipers in here? Somebody say something, no man, because you don't understand your prophet, you know. Some don't understand them prophet, you know, man. Where is the worshippers in here? Up your mouth and say something. So even sometime, so even sometime when in there, yes, sir. somebody sang them, the more making lead. Yes. So you can't have your, 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 your what they call it? You can't put on going to. Nothing wrong with that. Because he's on the choir, no, sir? So you can't put on your gun. But you're not. You are. Come on, no man, help me, no man. Where is the worshippers, man? Up your mouth and say something, no man. In other words, don't leave him. Because him knows him more than the wind there. And push your work if me did have a time. Time soon come, chuck a drop now. So a different thing. But stand up with him in carrying bishop spirit. Hey, you know the amount of people text me and call me and say, Bishop, that young man dear love you. Bishop, now let him go stand. Who will him said we are Bishop? He mean good. Where is the worshippers in here, man? So, don't leave him. All you have to do is humble yourself. Because humility is the key in the kingdom of God. What? Humility is the key. If he rebuke you, just hold on your head and say, yes, sir. And God will honor you. Where is the worshippers in here? Open your mouth and say something. Give God a praise. So stay with, stay with your leader. Where is the warriors in here, man? Open your mouth and give God a praise in here, man. Someone just stay with your leader. Don't run with your leader, man. Where is the believer? Say something in here, man. Open your mouth and shut back the king. Warriors, plead the blood now and say, blood of Jesus Christ. Where is the worshippers? Open your mouth and shout one more praise. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and say something, man. Just like how we like when you come here. But I will never take it from Pastor Myrie. You're crazy. No, sir. Where is the worshiper? You can visit, yes. Where is the worshiper? But your tides must stay over there. Where is the warriors, man? Say something, no, man. Up your mouth and shabba the king, no, man. Up your mouth and yada the king, no, man. Yeah. So, Bishop, not take remember. Tell two people, Bishop, not take remember. If you are down and you need some strength, come. I'll pump up your tire for you. I'll give you some here. I'll give you some 90. Where is the worshippers in here, man? Make sure your tank full up. And send you back over there. Go do some work. Warrior say something. Warrior say something. It's kind of too tight. Open your mouth. Shout one more praise in here. Shout one more glory in here. So, son. Son, you see your wife? Where's wifey? Come here, wifey. You see your wife? Keep your wife close. Love your wife. Stand up beside your husband. You see your wife? Your wife a warrior. Nobody can say nothing bad about them bishop around your wife. Your wife is a defender of the faith. Turn up with her. Where is the worship? Say something, man. It's kind of a little bit too flat. Open your mouth. And Shabbat. Somebody cover them right now. Somebody cover them right now. Hey, look here. Come back here, wifey. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here, wifey. Come back. Bring my wet rock preacher. Come back here, wifey. You know what I say? The man, the man got England, Virgin. Oh, Wife and husband, I got England, man. Wife and husband, I got England. But 
But I kind of hold them back a little bit. You know. Touch somebody, say, Bishop, I kind of hold them back a little bit. Because if, if Minister Leon gone, yes, hold on a little bit. Where is the worshiper? Say something, no man. Up your mouth and shabba the king, no man. Some of them leave. Some of them. Bishop prophesy and then get visa. Who don't get visa, get work of foreign. And then they are friends until they decide to stay. Them are idiot. They want a blessing dry up like that. Where is the warrior? Somebody say, come back to the yard first. Don't make you weak, don't find the yard. The judge will hold you over there. Where is the warriors? Somebody say something, man. Up your mouth and shabba. Up your mouth and yada. Up your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Because. Make them go on. Because nowhere is better than. Where is the worshiper? Say something, man. It's kind of flat. Up your mouth and say that two more times. Nowhere no better than yard. Come on, somebody say you can't find another King Jesus like here. When you go an elder, elder walker, when you go a pastor, a meter, when you go a pastor, bell drum, when you go a pastor, pastor row, or pastor Maduri, it's nice, you know. But you say, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir. When I'm in Jamaica, where is the worshippers? Somebody open your mouth and shabba. Hold on. You want to know New for Kingston? Dozen a week. Slap your neighbor and ask him if hear what Bishop does say. What's the new name for Kingston? Not done dozen a week, man. Where is the worshiper? Say something, no man. So not because, not because we don't announce every Thursday service. When you see we baptize one nine on Sunday and one ten on Sunday. When you reach the Thursday, we'll lick down one next three or four. So that does. Now we, where is the worshipers in here? Somebody up your mouth and say something, man. So even though Kingston is a dozen a week, the Kingston that will tell you that we love Kingston and Kingston is growing faster than Negril. But guess what about Negril? There is something about the worship down in the grill that is nowhere else. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth, shout another praise, shout a glory, hallelujah, shout a glory, thank you, Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and shabbat. I want to release this prophecy. King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. Listen to Bishop Bega. When we are on the street, we are going to get lands. Let me repeat it. When we are on the street, we are going to get and we're going to have to erect churches. Holy Spirit. And tell your neighbor what you see here. You make sure you carry it there. Come on, no man. Up your mouth and give God one more, no man. Up your mouth and shabba at the king, no man. Up your mouth and lift Jesus higher, no. So hear me now. Don't think about running and leaving the ministry. Because there's something about breaking off than taking out of the earth and plant. Tell somebody, I don't believe in the break off. I want to stay planted. Where is the worshipers in here? Somebody say, I don't believe in break off. I believe in expansion. Where is the worshiper? Say something in here. So, Deacon and your wife, come here. Deacon Brown and your wife, I need to rub your head. Come here. 
Yes, I need to rub your head. Come here. I need to rub your head. Come here. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warrior? Somebody say something. It's kind of a little bit too flat. Say something, man. Shaya Basa. Deacon. Missionary. Your son and your daughter. If they have done you any, they are, they are children. Somebody said they are children. And every children give trouble sometimes. Huh? Yes. Not, not, when they? Every child give trouble sometimes. Where is the worshiper? Say something, man. Then get trouble sometimes. Somebody said they get trouble sometimes. But I feel pity them already. Where is the worshiper? Tell us how for me them. As long as I feel me, boy, I even give me trouble on me if you get trouble. So, let us keep the, the whip. You can't whip with physical whip no more, you know, because they're on a picnic. Where is the worshippers? They use the word and give them a little whipping to keep on ticking. Shia Basa. Um, what I really want to tell the King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. I am from the East, and I reside in the West. And I come and meet Bishop Winston Baker as a true man of God. When you hear Bishop prophesying to Leon and tell him that speedily moving, I'll know Leon never get him passport as yet. So when Bishop was talking like that, Leon didn't approve to England as yet. It's Monday, 12 o'clock, I get a call that his passport is ready. And when I get the call, he said to me, Daddy, I'm going to come and change over the van at Kingston, you know. And I said, okay. And 1.30, the spirit speak to me and said, no, this is speedily moving. So what I got to do, I tell him, stay at Sab, for I know the devil is fighting. And for you, for rush, come to town, pick up your passport, go back to Sab, I say, we are the devil going to intervene. So I said, stay put. And me and my wife leave out quarter to two at Kingston. And when we leave out quarter to two, my wife said to me, say, your feet say, you're going to catch airport 5.30. Me said, the man says, speedily moving. <laughs> so from the man of God says, speedily moving. It's speedily moving. And what God has done, he make rain fall at every speed trap point that the police them come off of the road. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. And when I reach, I tell him to meet me up by where we live. And when, him reach, when we reach, they are reached 20 minutes past four. And when I reach 20 minutes past four, he said, Daddy, your feet say, I will catch for 5.30. I say, your bishop says, speedily moving. <laughs> and when we reach, when we reach um, and Lang Hill, we meet up on speed trap. We have to turn on with four, four. We, we have to turn on with four wheel. Yes, traffic. traffic. And we have to turn on with four wheel uh, and straight. And big jeep, all Prado, all of the big jeep, them take bank inside and give way. And, and when we reach at the airport, we reach 28 minutes after five. I couldn't just get more than a hug. Bishop, everything that has done, I understand. Every move make for Lee and God give me the strength to do it. And Leon, as I said, you didn't be at the wedding, sir. But Elder Barrett was there. And I said, in one year time, God did give me this start. When you said to me, young prophet, I said, no, say, Bishop, I said, far, far, me hand down the blessing of Abraham and him at that time. Wow. So, Bishop, you is a true man of God. I am from Portland, and I resign in Westmoreland. I can't say nothing about this man of God, but good. This man is bringing me from a pint of Newstown, 
where I live, they, they call me new stands, and this man made me become a new man through the power of God. This man met my neighbor who used to call me new stand, now join the King Jesus Pentecostal Church in Kingston. For they see the transformation in me, and the whole family come and join the King Jesus branch in Kingston. So people of God, I don't know about you, but I can tell you, since I am coming to this church, I see where God is working in my life. And if anybody, if there's anybody in this church who don't believe in this man, you got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. For this man is appointed for such a time like now. So my bishop, my son, and his wife, all is well. Yes, sir. Somebody give God a praise in here. Somebody shout a high praise. Now, the reason why I call you, I call you to prophesy in you. We have reached the worshipers in here. Up your mouth and give God a high praise. Now, I get a glimpse in the future. And I want to tell you what I see. Where is the worshiper? Somebody say something. Up your mouth and give God a high praise in here. Somebody give God a high praise in here. Yeah. I see your son and his wife. And I see your son and your wife go to bed. And your son wife get pregnant. And a girl baby came. And by the wink of an eye, she's pregnant again. And another baby come. And guess what? Pressure the them. You know pressure the them. You know what that means when pressure the them. They start to ask, Daddy and Mommy, can you please come and help? And then guess what? Because you love them so much. You just have to jump on plane and go to the UK. Where are the warriors in here? You better open your mouth and shut up. Yada! Give God one more praise in here. Hallelujah. I said, give the Lord one more praise in here. Give the Lord one more praise in here. Shout! Shout one more praise. Shout one more glory. Shout a glory. Hallelujah. Some of you don't need to go run down no husband. Listen to me. Some of you don't need to go run down no wife. Where is the warriors? He that have an ear to hear, let him hear. I said, don't do what? I said, don't do what? Because some of your husband are UK. Some of your wife is in the UK. Some of your wife is in the United States. Some of your wife is in Canada. Where is the worshippers? Some of your husband is in Canada. Where? I say on the Lord, where is the worshippers? Come on, no man, gotta teach you now, gotta train you now, gotta fix you up for ministry. Open your mouth and give God a praise in Him. Shout again, man, it's too flat, man. Open your mouth. Shout again, man, it's too flat. Open your mouth. Shout again, give God one more. Give the Lord one more praise in here. I said, give the Lord one more praise in here. Shia. No weapon for my prosper, son. Speak deliverance over your right now. Somebody help him. I speak deliverance over your right now. Be loose. Be delivered. Be set free by the power of Jesus' name. Shia. Somebody help him. 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 Shia. Somebody open your mouth and help him. Open your mouth and give God one more praise in here. Give the Lord one more praise in here. Give the Lord one more praise in here. Shia. No weapon from against you shall prosper. 
every attack on your health. We render it powerless now. In Jesus' name, deacon, stay strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Where is the worshippers? Where are the worshippers? Say something. Where are the praisers? Open your mouth and yada the king. Open your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Bring this to her. Use this rock. In her belly. Shaya basaya. Shanda basaya. Something went down in her belly that is cutting up her belly, her inside. Put this on her belly it's early tomorrow morning. Ask the doctor, ask, ask the security to, to let you in and put it on her belly. God said he's going to heal her in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody open your mouth. Somebody open your mouth and shut up the king. Open your mouth. Say something in here. Open your mouth and hear that the king say something in here. Warrior, say something in here. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. I come against every demonic attack. Every satanic sabotage. I render them powerless. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to be healed now by the power of Jesus' blood. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Somebody say something. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and say something. Be healed. Be completely healed now. Shia. Now. In Jesus' name, somebody plead the blood. Open your mouth. Plead the blood. Open your mouth. Plead the blood and say something. Plead the blood and say something. Plead the blood. Stand up, son. Stand up, son. Stand up. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to your bladder. I command weakness in the bladder. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed by the power of Jesus' name. Now! From the crown of your head, to the soles of your feet stand up look in my eyes I'm seeing you I'm looking beyond your physical and I see you standing in a valley you are in a valley you are in a valley you are in a church but you are in a valley you are in the church but you are in a valley Shia Basaya in the valley when I look, I see you in the middle. And I see a holy angel at your right hand. Yes, the angel is pulling you to the right. But on the left, I see a demon that is naked. It's a naked spirit. Huh? I wish you can come and look. I see a naked spirit on your left. He's pulling you. He's whispering in your ears. And he's pulling away from the angel. And I see you drifting away. I see your desire and your love for God is drifting away. He wants to pull you to destroy you. You are in the valley. But tonight, tonight the church is going to fight on your behalf. Tonight the church is going to stand up. Tonight the church is going to reverse a couple of demons to go to a far country. Tonight we're going to pull you over. Shut your hands towards her tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare and decree that your soul's soul belongs to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. And the devil can't get you. You are chosen for greatness. You are chosen for destiny. You are chosen for such a time as this. The devil can't get you. 
prayer will keep you under the blood prayer will fight for you intercessors 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 shut your hands to water after three one two three In the name of Jesus Christ, I pull you out now. Shanda basa, yama masaya. Somebody help her. Somebody help her. Declare war in this house. Of your mouth and war. Of your mouth and plead the blood. Of your mouth and shout a glory. Hallelujah. Of your mouth. Of your mouth. Of your mouth. Shout again. Shout again. Shout again. Somebody open them out and give God a high praise in here. Somebody give God a high praise in here. Jesus is ready for your son. Jesus is ready for you. Jesus is ready for you. Shia from before you were in your mother's womb, God have chosen you. Somebody give God a high praise in here. Up your mouth and shabak. Up your mouth and yada. Up your mouth. Jesus have Say something. Where are the praise? I say something. Open your mouth and magnify the king. Yada. Yada. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Open your mouth. Shout again. One more time. One more time. One more time. Yeah. Shout one more praise. Warriors, where are you? Warriors, where are you? Worshippers, where are you? Come on, warriors. Come on, warriors. Come on, warriors. Come on, worshippers. Say something. Come on, praise us. Say something. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Shout again. Shout again.
from me And how we set me free I wanna dance, 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 dance All night If you are not saved, if you are not yet been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, walk to this altar now. If you are sick and you need prayer, come. If you are bound under attack, you need deliverance, walk to this altar. The water is troubled. Come now. Oh, the wind is blowing again. Oh, the wind is blowing again. Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. The wind is blowing again. Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. Oh, the wind is blowing again. Just like the day of Pentecost, the wind is blowing again. Blow. I let the wind blow in. You never, never.